markets in Haywood, Madison, and Buncombe County are our members of, but each market is locally and farmer driven. You know, so each one of them have their own market manager. Okay. So in our local food guide, that is spelled out, and so if someone's interested in selling a local product, they would contact the market manager. Great. Because we're all about farmers, and so they need to be about, the, you know, being in control of what they do. And for for someone that really doesn't know the importance of buying local food, two two words sum it up. Well, um, what, what, what to you is, is why people should not, should start going to the tailgate markets. They start, what, early spring through late fall? Yeah. It's, we keep our food dollars in our local community. You know who grows your food. Um, you're getting the freshest, best tasting food. It's not food that's grown for shelf life or how well it can sit on a truck. It's, it's just for taste. Uh, and it's, uh, it's about community. You can see here today. You just say fresh and local. Yes. Yeah. Fresh, local, and supporting your your family farmers as well. And it's so much fun to come to these things. There's there's live entertainment most of the time. I bump into everybody when I'm here, and I I, I form a relationship with the farmers, and it's nice. All right. Thank you guys for joining me today. And we'll be back. I'll, I'll have I'll have you guys on the show again somewhere down the line. I know Rob is going to be one of the um, often my produce guy. He's going to show us. Yeah, he's going to show us how to how to get our gardens ready for 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 planting in the fall and yeah. summer and the spring. Yeah, we can follow it all the way through. That's right. See it to finish. You got to come out and cook with some kids. We're going to cook with some kids with Emily. Yes, thank cool. you so much. Thank you. It kind of looks like a pepper. Yeah. And it's actually hollow inside. We should buy one so that we can Okay, one let's open. open it up. And you could you can stuff them and roast no. them. Would you stuff them and roast them? Yes, they're great that way. Can we open one up and we'll, we'll, we'll buy one? We'll buy yes. it, but we want to cut Here's one. Here, Susie. I'll let you do the honors, oh, yeah, sir. I, I, I'll try not to hurt myself. But I would cut it along the top so that you can, like, when you go to serve it, mm -hmm. you'll have a nice presentation. I'm probably cutting it too much. But see, it's got little, oh, yeah. little, uh, pockets. little pockets in there. So it's not really, I, I don't think it's necessarily ideal for, like, a sandwich tomato. It's more like a... Uh, Stuffing oh, I tomato. Would, I would stuff it. Yeah. And it's got kind of a thick wall, so it actually would hold together when you cooked it. That's beautiful. Yeah. Wow, it's kind of like brainy yeah. too in here. Oh, yeah. Brain wow. texture. Brainy mm. texture and great for stuffing and roasting. What yeah. did she call them? Oh my gosh. Uh, what are these called again? Striped cabbage. Striped caber. Caber, C A B E R? N. N. Cavern. Striped cavern tomatoes. Caber. Mm. Yum. Oh, yeah, let's try some. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. Want a bite? Oh. Mm. That's delicious. Mmm. Yummy. Want some? Yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got it. There you go. Oh, nice. There we go. That's the good stuff right there. See that? Oh, my gosh. They're sour too. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh that's good. I like that one. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Now, good ever... times, great fun at the farmer's market. Tomatillos? I've made salsa in those before. Mm -hmm. But I've never actually cooked them. Cooked them. No, just raw. Yeah. Well, I, I, Have I, you? No, I, I mean, I, I will eat them, but I, they don't end up in my kitchen very often. My, mine either. They're a little acidic, I think. He's a, he's a cook extraordinaire. He always has delicious things. You sample a lot of things. What did you do over here? Well, uh, today the, in, on the co-op's uh, thank you table, what we have available is uh, cauliflower that's been steamed, and then I uh, dressed it with pickled plum paste. Oh. And so it's very cooling for the summer. Also, pickled plum paste will cure migraine headaches. Oh. Ew. And then we have a flavored tofu. It's smoked tofu, so it's a nice, deep, rich flavor. 
And uh, then we're also featuring oven dried tomatoes uh, of the season. I've taken Whoa. cherry tomatoes that grew at Warren Wilson's Organic Garden. Little sun golds? Little sun golds, that's right, yeah. Rob. Yeah. And uh, cooked them in an oven for an hour, uh, for uh, 12 hours overnight oh, wow. at 150 degrees. Oh, just nice slice the tomato, dress it with a little olive oil, salt and pepper, nice. and the next morning you've got these wonderful tomatoes. What does that do to the taste when you roast it slow like that? Well, you tell me, Dad. Oh, hey, well, there's only one way to find out. <laughs> <laughs> one way to know. Just have to try what does that do to the taste? And then we also. Hi, how are you? Thank you. I'm wonderful, dear. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. As a concentrated. Concentrated. Yeah. It's almost like I describe it as a tomato jam. Mm. Yeah. It's got a little jam wow. in it. Wow, so much flavor. Yeah. That's nice and smoky. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Comes like that. Comes just like that. Right out of the package, too. I just sliced it and cooked it in a toaster oven at uh, 350 degrees for about 10 minutes. And then you've got some beautiful blackberries. Beautiful wild uh, crafted berries today. And then from uh, my buddy uh, Terry Pittman's farm at down in Marion, we have some gorgeous blueberries. Try some. Rich in antioxidants, oh, you right? Better oh, believe yeah. it. We know what they're good for the cauliflower. Cauliflower has this pickle pump paste. paste that. I think so. I think it's like okay. a wild crafted, like just kind of growing, mm -hmm. you know, on their own. Okay. As opposed to like a domesticated. Exactly. Little, uh, you just bought it and put that over there. That's all you do. I want to taste some of you that cauliflower, it? please. Absolutely. You know what the French call it? Chauffleur. 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 And the Germans? Uh, Blumenkohl. Blumenkohl? Blumen cabbage. Uh, oh, Blumenkohl, of course, yeah. Blumen cabbage. Yeah. In yeah. fact, if you taste the Blum leaves, it tastes, oh, it tastes yeah. just like that. Oh, that's delicious. I love cauliflower. Yeah, mm -hmm. This is so good. Yeah. And With the plum paste, too. Mm -hmm, that adds a little nice sour taste to it. Sour taste, and also uh, in uh, Chinese medicine, they consider this very cooling for this time of year. And you'll, it actually no, cools the, the system down, the cauliflower and the plum paste together. The combination. Yes. And it cures migraines. Yeah, what a thing, wow. That's excellent. Thank you so much. You're food very welcome. food as, as a healing art. There you go, yeah. brother. You got it. Thank you all for joining us and thank you Rob for being a guest on the show. Um, we'll have you again on here. We'll be playing with Rob on camera. Um, so by buying organic produce from local farmers, you are working to maintain an environment, a vibrant community, and a sustainable local economy for you and your family to thrive on. Thank you for joining us once again. And from our tailgate market to yours, keep supporting your local farmers. See you soon. Woo! All right. <laughs> Thank you. <Yeah. laughs>